Hi guys, so on 1st March Remix OS 2.0 beta was launched and I have tried it on my desktop and unfortunately my desktop wasn't perfectly compatible with the operating system and I am going to try it on my Cube i7 and the reason I want to try it on my Cube i7 is more majorly because of it has a touch screen and the Cube i7 already has a variant of Cube Remix OS and I want to see how good it performs on this one. Uh, the Remix OS 2.0 uh, you can download it from the official site it's jide.com and you can get the download uh, either in torrent format or from their servers directly. Now I went for the 32-bit version simply because uh, I want this operating system mainly for a very old laptop of mine and that laptop doesn't support 64-bit yet. So I, I have installed it successfully on that and hopefully I will be uploading the video of that one too. So, uh, please forgive my pronunciations, I'm not really... Uh, I don't regularly upload videos like this. All right, so this is the file that you will be downloading from there, and uh, it is a zip file, I think. All right, let me see. It is, yeah, it is a zip file, and when you open it, inside there are two folders. One is for Mac OS, and I will just copy this one and put it here. All right. So inside the remix, uh, the zip file, you will get two files and one is for Windows and in that folder you will have the ISO image of remix OS for PC beta 32 bit version and you will get instructions in a text document which is, uh, I think they have tried everything they can to make it as simple as possible and this has to be the best Android operating system till date. Uh, not just because of how simple they have made it to install it but also because of how uh, so many of the softwares that are tried are compatible. Almost everything that I use on my Android system is compatible on this, uh, on my old laptop, which is a Dell uh, Vosto 1.3 something. All right. So uh, we are almost done here. And so this is a tool. Uh, this looks like a custom version of Unit Boutine, but it uh, it is again a great simplification like you can choose hard disk or you can choose usb drive right away if you install it on the usb drive then it becomes uh, like a portable android that you can connect to any computer and it will start running all right i hope that was, i don't know if i missed something all right so what I was doing was I just created a hard drive of 15, I just made a new partition of 15 GB and as you can see you can either choose the USB drive and connect it to and install it on a USB drive but uh, since I want to use this tablet without anything hanging from it I am going to choose the hard drive version, hard disk version and we will go with E. Now all you have to do is select the ISO that is where is the desktop, 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 desktop and Here's the ISO and okay that's it and it will do everything it will uh, complete the installation it will create the boot directory and wow I really didn't check if it was compatible with Windows 10 but I hope it is because it worked really well on my desktop I mean the, at least the installation was really easy on my desktop all you have to do is when it will restart it will ask you which operating system to boot into and you can choose either Windows 10 or you can choose Remix OS you can even set uh, Remix OS as the default if you intend to use your laptop mostly as an Android tablet or you can set it to uh, Windows 10 or you can just uh, choose it every time so what we will do is I will close everything and unfortunately we will have to stop the video recording uh, and I will use a camera to record. Thanks guys.